What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Church, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, I love that mighty God we serve. I love that mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Oh, Jesus is the God we serve. Jesus is the God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Well, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, brother and Henderson. God bless you and Sister Lisa. Good morning, Deacon and Sister Polk. Good morning, Elder and Sister Dorset. Good morning, DJ Forgiven. God bless you. God bless you, Dr. Harrison. Good morning, Sister Eleanor. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Jackson. God bless you. Grace abound. Good morning, Sister Monica. God bless you. Good morning, Sister D. Turner. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Pinckney. God bless you. Good morning, Little Bruce Lee, God bless you. Good morning, Reese Cup. God bless you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. Tamika. Good morning, Katrina. God bless you <clears throat> and your family. Good morning, Sister Bobin. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you, Sister Briscoe. Good morning to you. Good morning, Sister Barnwell. God bless you. Good morning, Pastor and Lady Williams. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of United Refuge. Good morning, Bishop and Mother Joseph. God bless you, your family, and all the saints of Trinidad, Tobago. Good morning, Kimberly. God bless you, and Deacon Clark. Good morning, Bishop Alde. God bless you, Lady Alde, your family, and all the saints of the Allegheny Diocese. Good morning, Angela. God bless you, my dear sister. Good morning, Sister Joe. Rich, God bless you. Good morning, Sister Orita. God bless you. Missionary Domingo, God bless you. Lydia, praise the Lord to you and your family. Good morning, Missionary Zimmerman. Good morning, Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson. God bless you. Good morning, Mother Walker. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Roseford. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Rodriguez. God bless you. Good morning, Rosalind. God bless you this morning. Good morning, Tiana. God bless you. Good morning. Elder and Sister Adams, God bless you. Good morning, Carmelita. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Jackson Perry. God bless you, Brother Perry and your family. And we are in prayer with you. Good morning. Good morning, Mother Morris and Minister Morris. God bless you. Good morning, Sister Petlar. God bless you. Good morning. God bless you, Brother Paul. Praise Jesus. God bless you and your family. Good morning, Sister Mamie. God bless you. Good morning, Deacon Grant. God bless you. Well, good morning. And praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome to the morning prayer with Pastor Reginald Davis. And as always, it's an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure to be able to bring to you a biblical meditation and prayer. For more things have been wrought by prayer than the world will ever know. And every day we witness the Lord making ways, opening doors, providing, and doing what we know he is able to do. God is always, hallelujah, in the business of blessing and caring for his people. 
people. And we thank God for that. I pray that every mother on this line had a wonderful Mother's Day filled with love, filled with appreciation, filled with admiration because mothers are special people. And we thank God for the um, mothers biologically and the mothers spiritually that fill our churches because they make a difference in the area of ministry. Hallelujah. I pray you had a great day. As always, if you had a prayer, if you have a prayer request, we want you to share it with us. If you're on Facebook, you can place it right into the chat or you can inbox Reginald Davis or inbox Refuge Temple Church. If you're on Instagram, you can place it right there in the chat or you can direct message Pastor RJD. And for everybody on the conference call, and, every, and we thank God for our conference call listeners, everybody on YouTube or anybody can text in your prayer request. And that number is 336-567-5358. Again, the number is 336-567-5358. You can text your prayer requests. We're adding them to the prayer list, to the prayer book. And we are believing God with you for miracle signs and wonders. Somebody is going to be blessed today. Yes, my friend, somebody is going to be blessed today. Come on and join me in the word of God in Psalm number 148. And I want to read verses 7 through 14. Psalm 148 verses 7 through 14. The Bible says, praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his words, mountain and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord for his name alone is excellent. His glory is far is above the earth and heaven. He also exalteth the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And I want to talk to you this morning from the subject, everything praises God. Everything praises God. One of the purposes or themes of this psalm is the universality of praise. The fact that everything in creation, everything God has made, everything God has constructed, Everything God has formed was formed for the praise of God, formed so that God could be glorified in the earth, glorified in the universe, glorified by everything that he created. Because everything was created by God. The Bible says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. That means if it exists, it was created by God. Its formation, its foundation, the essence of what it is came from God. God made it. God formed it. God, hallelujah, allowed it to come into being. In fact, it was spoken into being by the living word of God. God doesn't use his hands to make stuff. God doesn't use his feet to bring stuff. God speaks and it appears. It is formed out of the essence of the word of God. That's why the word of God, the written word, the spoken word of God is so powerful because the Bible says the grass withers, the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. It stands because it is the creative power of God. It is by the word that God forms and God shapes and God molds and God orchestrates and God creates. He does all of that by the power that is in his word. And so the psalmist is, is calling on all of creation to praise God. In fact, all of creation praises God. The only creation that doesn't praise God, hallelujah, willingly or doesn't and praise God automatically are the angelic host, the demonic host, and man. 
the angelic host, the demonic host, and man. That for whatever reason, we are the ones that have the most that God has given, but we are the less likely to praise God. We know why the demons don't praise him. They've been separated. They've been cast out. They have rebelled against God. The angelic host does praise God because they're there. They glorify God, but they have the intellect and they have the choice. But these have chosen after a third was cast out of heaven. These have chosen to willingly worship and glorify God. Then it comes to man. Oh, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Then it comes to man that exists by the pleasure of God. Then it comes to man that has the intellect and the spirit of God, hardly a soul, a spirit breathed into him by God. It comes to man that lives and moves. God made the earth for man. God made creation for man. God made vegetation and food and meat for man. Then it comes to man that seems to struggle with the notion of giving God praise. That, that man has to be told clap your hands. Man has to be told, lift your hands. Man has to be told, open your mouth. Man has to be told these things when in reality, man ought to be the first to open their mouth, lift their hands, dance and worship before God because man is the highest order of God's creation. Having a will of his own, having a mind of his own, <coughs> having eternality, that comes, hallelujah, from the essence that God breathed into man's, his spirit into man's spirit. So there would be a connection between God and man. If anybody ought to be praising God, it ought to be man. If anybody ought to be glorifying God, it ought to be man. And so he opens this at verse 7 with saying, praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps. The dragons, hallelujah, the dragons. The creatures of the earth should be praising God. The lizards, the alligators, the crocodiles should be praising God. Fire and hail, snow and vapor, stormy wind fulfilling his word. They praise God. When the wind blows, it blows at the direction of God. Hallelujah. When the snow or the rain falls, it falls at the direction of God. When the fog takes the highway, it does so at the auspices and the direction of God. The mountains praise praise God. Look at them with their majesty and their greatness. And yet here they are praising God. The hills praise God. The trees that bear fruit praise God. Hallelujah. The cedars praise God. The beast of the field, all the cattle, all the creeping things, the roaches as it were, the ants. Hallelujah. The spiders, they are praising God. Hallelujah. The flying fowl, the birds, the chickens, the pigeons, the eagles. Hallelujah. All all of the ostriches, the flamingos, all the fowl of the air, all the fowl of the earth, they are praising God. Hallelujah. Then it comes down to the request or the demand of people, the demand of people, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth. The kings are to praise him because they were given their position by God. The Bible says promotion does not come from the east or from the west. It comes from God because he he putteth up one and pulleth down another. It comes from God. God honors, hallelujah, the kings. And the kings ought to honor God. Have all people, all people, regardless of nationality, regardless of race, regardless of ethnicity, you were made by God. And you were made to praise God. And you were made to honor God. And you were made to glorify God. Not just on your good days, not just on the days of prosperity, but every Every day, you ought to be giving God the glory because he forms you. He says the princes, oh God, the princes, those in authority, the judges, those that sit in judgment of others, they ought to praise God. Imagine what would happen in the court system if godly men and women filled the bench instead of just the people that knew somebody that knew somebody that got them there or got elected. Imagine if the judges would praise God. Imagine if the judges would honor God. He says both young men and maidens. The young men ought to praise God. The young men that think they've got forever to do whatever they're going to do. Young man, if you're living, you ought to live for the praise of God. 
Young man, if you're walking, you ought to walk in the glory of God. You ought to walk in the praise of God. The maidens, the young women ought to be praising God. The old men and the children ought to be praising God. Saints, don't you wait until your kid gets to be 18 to teach them how to praise God. Don't you wait until they get to be, hallelujah, and your mind grown so they can make their own decision. The Bible says train up a child in the way he should go. Train your children to clap their hands to sing, to praise God, to glorify him. Train your children to know that God is always worthy of the praise. God is always worthy of the honor. And the psalmist says, let them praise the name of the Lord. God is great. But his name is also great. His name, his name, his name. Jehovah, hallelujah, is a great name. Yahweh is a great name. Hallelujah. Elohim is a great name. Hallelujah. Adonai is a great name. El Shaddai is a great name. But he has given him a name that is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, Ishatama, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the the glory of God the Father. Everybody, hallelujah, ought to reverence the name of Jesus. That name, oh God, that breaks chains. That name that heals bodies. That name that opens doors. That name that creates life. That name, hallelujah, that stops demons in their track. That name, oh God, that makes things happen. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall Shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. His name alone is excellent. Let them praise the name of the Lord because the name alone is excellent. If you don't believe me, I need you that have a need or a problem or a situation just to begin to call the name of Jesus. I promise you something is going to happen in your house, in your home, among your children, hallelujah, in your office. Something's going to happen because there is power in that name. There is healing in that name. There is deliverance in that name. There is great hallelujah oh God majesty in the name of Jesus Christ because his name alone is excellent his name alone is excellent his glory is above earth and heaven the glory of the Lord the manifestation of the Lord the grace of the Lord all of this hallelujah is even greater than the earth and greater than the heaven and he is to be exalted saints the Lord is to be exalted. His glory is above the earth and the heaven. He also exalted, look at this, the horn of his people. Now, the horn in general is a reference to the strength and prosperity of the nation. Oh God, because of the favor of God upon them, he also exalted. That's why you praise God, because as he goes up, he lifts you up. Oh God, that's why you honor God, because as he goes higher, you go higher. That's why you give him worship and you give him glory because as he is elevated, my God, you are elevated. As he is magnified, you are magnified because God, I hear you, God. He's not a selfish God. You know, there are some people in your life that they want to excel, but they want you to stay where you are. Don't strive, don't climb, don't move, don't let God lift you. They want you just where you are in a subservient place. But the God that I serve, as we glorify him, he lifts us up. I promise you, if you give God the glory and when God knows that no matter what, you will honor and praise him, guess what? He'll start lifting you up because he exalts the prosperity and the power and the position of his people. The praise of all all his saints. The praise makes the difference. It's not about emotion. It's not about how I feel. It's about the fact that God is good and he is worthy. My God of our praise, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. He loves Israel and he loves his church and he loves humanity. But all of humanity has to learn how to honor and glorify God. Hallelujah. And that's why 
why the last stanza of this song is praise ye the Lord. It's a command for you. It's a command for me. It's a command for all of eternity, all of the creation of God, everything in the earth, everybody in the earth to do what? Praise the Lord. Everybody ought to praise the Lord. If you don't do it, you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to praise the Lord for his goodness, his mercy, his grace, and his love to us. Praise him. Hallelujah. Because he is worthy. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank God for each of you and thank God for the word. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Hallelujah. 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 My gracious God, I love you, I thank you, I glorify you for your grace, your mercy, your kindness, and your goodness unto us. Lord, you continue to show favor to us, and we continue to be blessed by you. Lord, every day you do something to remind us of your greatness, and for that we are thankful. Lord, I thank you for last night's rest. And I thank you for waking up this morning in my right mind, able to start my day, able to, Lord God, prepare to join this great cadre of believers from all over the world. Lord, I thank you for the morning prayer family. And Lord, yes, we are in this prayer room together, giving you the glory and the honor that is due to your name. Lord, we love you. We adore you. God, we lift you up and we give you glory, honor, and praise. And Lord, because we are here today, we are here to bless your name forever because you are worthy for forever. Lord, I ask you right now to come into this prayer room today. Come into our midst. Come into, oh God, this prayer circle. And whether we have come by Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or the conference call, let us feel the power of your great presence today because you are here for us. God, I'm praying for everybody on this prayer line that you would bless them, that you would help them, that you would strengthen them, that you would make a way for them right now in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I'm I'm praying, I'm praying, God, that you would remember, oh God, Claudia Houston, Christina Brown, Chula Centron, Joe Perez, Renee Clark, Precious LaCosta, Joe Ortez, Nevi Slays, God, remember Miriam Jordan Pizarro, remember, my God, Judy McKinney, Jean McKinney, remember Mary Edith Roche, remember, my God, Tina Marshall, remember Lucille LaCosta, remember, oh God, Christina Kopko, remember Jarrell Smith, Remember Mary Ann today. Remember Stacy Rock this morning. Remember my God Renee story. God, look on. Hallelujah. Sister Ed was in her family today. Remember Jamal and Erica. Remember Buddy Winston. Remember Sharon Willis. Remember Shardell Willis. April Willis. Remember Raymond Niblet today. Remember Tommy Harrison. Remember Carson Blackwell. Austin Blackwell. Aubrey Blackwell. Remember the Mason family today. Remember my God Brian Reeves and his family. Remember Dr. Jennifer McCarroll Johnson and Brother Irvin Johnson. God, because we know you're a deliverer. Remember my Godmother, Barbara Pittman. Remember Sister Smith's sons. Oh God, and Sister Smith today. Remember my God, Sister Sheila Reed. Remember Stacy and Trayvon. Remember my God, Deacon Lewis. Remember Cheryl and Leon Bradley. Remember my God, Sister Crowder. Oh God, her son and her husband today. Remember my God, Sister Edwards today. Remember, oh God, Sister Seneca Austin. Remember Lisa, Lady Lisa Kinchin today. Remember my God, Sister Pam Johnson. And oh God, remember Donna Johnson. Remember Mother Rogers today. Remember Sister Carolyn Lawton. Remember Francine Harrison this morning. God, everybody that needs a blessing, everybody that needs a miracle, God, we lift them up to you right now and we pray that you would touch and deliver, God. Lord, remember, Lord God, save, save, save to the utmost those outside of the ark of safety. 
God, bring them in. Cause them to come to you, Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. We're praying for the Bradley family, for Nicole and Simeon, oh God, Simone rather, and Kayla, J.R. Riley, oh God, Nakisha Harris today, Missionary Clarifa Bradley, the Nesmith family, the Brown family, the Higgins family. God, remember Mother Elizabeth Anderson today. Remember, my God, every soul, every believer. God, touch and deliver. Lord, reclaim the backslider. Oh God, don't let them be lost, but God, reach them where they are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ and destroy every yoke that binds and incarcerates them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And God, remember the downcast, the burden, the depressed, the broken, hallelujah, the discouraged. God, and help them today. Oh, Lift their faith today and strengthen them right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, I pray that you would touch now. Oh, God, the sick everywhere, everywhere. Somebody is battling sickness in their body. Somebody is battling, oh, hallelujah, a condition. Somebody's recovering from surgery. But we're praying right now that you would remember the sick. Remember the children at St. Jude's Hospital today. Remember Jackie Blackwell's son, John. Remember Roberta Jenkins' grandson. Remember Kmar Haynes today. Remember LaShawn. Remember, my God, Cynthia Jackson Perry's brother, James. Remember Desiree Zachary. Lord God, we pray for Mackenzie. We pray, oh God, for Lady Peggy Young today, God. Stretch out your healing hand and do what we know you are able to do. Remember Arlen's grandfather. Remember James. Remember Vicki Carter today. Remember Rebecca Simmons. Remember Ramon Dreyer. Remember Bobby. Remember Dolores Mitchell. Remember Antoine Wilkerson. Remember Sylvia Friesen today. Remember Kenny Curry. Remember Dante's sister. Remember Felix Boatwright. Remember Dr. Spellman's brother-in-law. Remember my God, Deacon Marquise Rose. God touch his body in the name of Jesus. Remember Maya Watson. Remember Michael Haywood. Remember Frankie Parker today. God, I pray for Deborah Robinson, for Joanne Smith, for Sister Jackie Poole, for Mother Lillian Sharp, for Charity Stroman today. God, we know that you're a healer right now. My God, for Sister Teresa Holt today, God. Lord, we're praying, my God, for Deacon Ganey, for Brother Crowder. We're praying for Cynthia Jackson Perry. God, because you're a healer, touch now in the name of Jesus. Brother Keith Young, Josephine Gibson today, Missionary Anita Bryan, Elder James Welch, Mother June Dixon, Ethelene Smith today. Remember Brother Morris today. Everybody that's sick everywhere, stretch out your healing hand. Remember, my God, Minister Perkins. Remember Daniel and Xavier. Remember Deacon Adams today. Remember, my God, in your precious name. Hallelujah. Deacon and Mother Wilson. Deacon and Sister Harrison today. Remember Brother Phil Solomon. Remember Elder Toll and Elder Toll's mother today. Remember my God in your precious name. Hallelujah. To touch and to heal. My God. Elder Dokes today. God, I pray that you remember Mother Hallelujah. Virgie Dubose. Remember Mother Mary Williams. Mother Perry today. Mother Lloyd. Mother Meadows. God, stretch out your healing hand. Oh God, to Missionary Janet Davis. Missionary Joyce Domingo. Missionary Gail Hardy today. God, stretch out your healing hand to missionary Marlene Roseman, missionary Jesse Brisbane, missionary Hodges today. Remember sister Denise McLean. Remember my God in your name, mother Elizabeth Wilson, brother Carl. I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God, Deacon James Grant, Philip Grant, pastor and lady Winston today, bishop and mother D today, apostle and lady Keith. God, remember bishop. Hallelujah. Alfonso Brooks, Bishop Early Dillard, remember my God, Mother Shirley Clark, Mother Evangeline Jenkins, Lady Andrea Maxwell, remember Mother Close today, remember Mother Coleman, Sister Shakaya Polk, God, we pray today for Bishop Richard Phillips, Bishop Richard Johnson, Bishop, hallelujah, Clonell Williams, Bishop Gregory Wilder, Bishop Irving Taylor, Bishop Alvin Palmer, Bishop Larry Arnold, Bishop Stephen Harper, Bishop Brian Williams, Bishop William Jenkins, God, we're praying today that you would remember in the name of Jesus. Bishop Johnny Davis today. Remember Lady J. Remember Lady Williams. Remember Lady Kathy Forehand. Lady Barbara Vincent. Lady Deborah Carter. Remember Lady Pamela Davenport. Remember Mother Stokes today. God, send your healing virtue. Oh God, upon them now. Remember Apostle Herbert Edwards. Apostle Leroy Joseph. Apostle Charles Williams. Apostle, my God, Sylvester Norwood. Remember Brother Wiggins. Brother and Mother Sherrod. Remember my God, Mother Garland today. 
today. I pray, my God, that you remember, oh God, Mother Jill and Mother Pride today. Remember Dr. Hayward, Sister Hayward, Dr. Hayward's mother. Remember my God Elder and Mother Murray today. Touch the body, oh God, of the man of God right now. Remember my God Elder Mother Dugan in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember in your precious name, God. Remember Brother and Mother Chambers today. Remember Mother Moorhead, Mother Carter today, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, because we know that you're able. Touch God with your power right now. Oh God, remember Lady Staten today. Remember Minister Carr. Remember my God, Elder Tyson and Elder Smith. Lord, I pray today that you remember Mother Foster Henry J and Brother Cliff. Lord, remember Mother Tanaj, Mother Home and Missionary Simmons. I pray for Cynthia, Catherine and Duchess. I pray God that you remember Marlette, Maurice today. Remember Tony. Remember Dennis. Remember Kimberly. Remember Cynthia today. Remember Mother Jackson. Remember Apostle Moultrie. God, with your hand of love, God, deliver in the mighty name of Jesus and heal in every hospital, nursing home, rehab center. Heal God in hospice because we know that you're a healer. God, I pray for the grieving today. I lift up Minister Jamie Carr and his family. I pray today that you remember in the name of Jesus, Sister Janelle Rousen and her family. I pray, God, that you remember Mother Sally Carr, that you remember Bishop Henry Davenport, that you remember my God in your name, hallelujah, Sister Cheryl Wilson, that you remember and her family, remember Sister Kimberly Clark and her family, remember Lady Carla Cupid and the family, remember my God, Sister Catherine Green and the Robertson family, I pray God for the Ellis family. I pray for District Elder Willie Shy, his family. Oh God, brother Deacon Michael Shy and the entire family. I pray for the Drinks family, the Zachary family, the Cathal family, Clifton Staten and family, Gloria Smith and family, Asaka Brown. I pray for baby Charlotte's family, the Taylor family, Duchess Horton and family, Sister Lisa Bonkiva and family, Anaya Hatcher today, Diana Williams and family. I pray for Elder and Mother Dugan today and their family. I pray for Deborah. Bedford and family, the Berea family, Giselle Berea and family. I pray for Deliver Driver family and friends. I pray, my God, for the Martin family, the Joseph family, Kathleen Murphy and her family, the Greenfield family, Shatakaya Heard and family, Lord, the police officers that were slain and their family, the young servicemen that were shot, God, and his family, God. I pray, God, that you remember the Frazier family, the Charles family, the Jeffries family, Sister Jacobs family. Archie Jump Jr. and family. Lord, I pray today for Mother Walker and Mother Moya. I pray for Jalisa, for Jackie. I pray, God, that you would remember. Hallelujah to Keisha. Oh God, hallelujah and Jerry and Phoenicia and Whitney and their families. I pray for Lady Maxwell, Charles and Cedric, Mother Close and the family. I pray for Dr. Carter and her family. I pray for Apostle Phil Shekinah and the family, God. I pray today that you would remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, the Quarles family. Oh God, Mother Harrell and the family. Mother Grant and the family. The Groover family. The Kramer family. The Hargrove family. The Blunt family. The Bonhams, the Taylors, the Lloyds, the Carters, the Giles family. I pray for the Meadows family, the Moyer family, the Perkins family, the Dockery family, Sister Pam, her mom, and her sisters today. I pray, God, that you would remember Anita and the Brian Hopkins family, Margie and the McLean, Melvin, and Street families. Lord, I pray today that you would remember, oh God, the Ransom family, the Jackson family, the Newkirk family, the Ned family, the Green family, the Nunn family, the Umstead family, Brenda and the Alan McNeely family, Sean and Monique and the Gary Porter family, Trell and Ryan and the Allen Williams family. God, remember them in a special way. Remember, my God, every family today in the name of Jesus. Tommy and Michelle and the Clark family, the Mays, the Dunlaps, the Purdies, the Sneeds, the Washington Fields family. God, remember them in a special way. Remember, my God, the Purdies. Remember, hallelujah, the Winninghams. Remember the Bankses. Remember, my God, the Wades. Remember the Taylors and the Middletons. Lord, I pray today for the Felix family, the Sapata family, 
the Mannings, the Boodrums, the Gleans, the Arthurs, the Matherins, the Briggs family, the Taylors, the Phillips, the Josephs. I pray for the Davises today. Oh God, remember the Allens, the Carwells, the Hayes, the Moors. Remember my God, the Austins. Remember the Harbisons. Oh God, the Adams and the Austin family. Every grieving widow, every grieving widower, every sibling, loved one. Oh God, remember and strengthen them now. God, I pray for the body of Christ today. Every apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, and teacher. Every bishop and elder. All, oh God, every first lady, all the pastors, children, mothers and missionaries, ministers and deacons. God, remember the young people. Remember musicians, singers, and psalmists. God, remember the church. Lord, keep us in the mind of worship and praise and glory to you for we were made for that purpose. God, I pray for first responders, essential workers, firemen, policemen, EMTs. I pray, God, that you would remember in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. School employees and students everywhere. Remember during public schools. I pray for everybody that works. God, that you would bless them and keep them on their job. Everybody that needs a job. I pray, God, that you would bless them. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus and create an opportunity. And Lord, I pray for everybody on a fixed income. Lord, that you would make a way for them. That you would let the ends meet. Lord, remember the homeless today. And God, look on this troubled world. This world that is filled with violence and hatred. This world that is filled with unrest. God, that you would remember them in the name of Jesus and bring deliverance because we know that you are able. God, remember, hallelujah, this troubled world. Oh God, heal the land. Heal the land from sin. Heal the land from hatred and jealousy and violence. Heal the land, my God. Hallelujah, from injustice. Heal the land from racism and sexism. And let your church be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Your people need you today, God. Oh, your people need you today. Cover us, protect us, and bless us. And God, as you do all of this, we give your name the glory, the honor, and all the praise. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Everybody on this line, come on and join me right now in giving God the praise. Hallelujah. Everybody on this line, hallelujah, join me in giving God the praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, my God. Hallelujah. This is my declaration for today. His name alone is excellent. His name alone. He doesn't have to do anything. Just be God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Just be our God. Hallelujah. But he's going to do something. He's going to bless. He's going to deliver. He's going to respond to those that will call upon him and pray. He's going to respond to those that have needs because his name alone, my God, is excellent. God knows how to bless everybody that stands in need. God knows how to strengthen, to deliver, to make whole, to make a way, to do whatever is needed to be done in your life. You don't have to worry. You don't have to fear. Just trust God and watch God work on your behalf. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Thank you so much for being with us. I'm trusting that this biblical meditation and prayer has blessed you and that your morning is off to a great start. Look, you can stay connected to Refuge Temple all day today. This prayer service is available on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Thank God that for those that join us by conference call. Keep coming. Keep sharing the number and stay with us. You can also stay connected to our podcast. Podcast, Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, SoundCloud, and Spotify. All of this available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I want to apologize that we did not air the morning worship on yesterday. We had some internet issues that took hold. Sunday school went on, but the morning worship didn't. And so we just, we'll have it together by next week, by this week, because we have an amazing week coming on this week. This Friday is the Ecclesia Diocese Convocation. The worship service begins at 7.30 on Friday. Friday night, Elder David Hollis of Gary, Indiana will be our speaker, and we want you to come and be with us in that convocation. It will continue on Saturday morning, Saturday morning from 9 until 1. We have prayer, we have sessions, we have teaching, we have a number of things. I'm going to minister on Saturday afternoon, and then we will close the convocation at 1 o'clock on Saturday. So you can come and be with us. It will be available 
online for our people that are from a distance. But I would love for you to visit Refuge Temple and be with us on this weekend because it's Pentecost Sunday on Sunday. And Elder Hollis is going to stay over and preach for us on Sunday morning for Pentecost Sunday. So we are going to have a time in the Lord. I'm believing God for souls to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost, people to be reclaimed and be restored, and God just to work miracle signs and wonders in our midst. We're fasting and praying to that end. So join us in the prayer, join us in the fast, and then join us in the convocation and on Pentecost Sunday. Look, you can let me thank everybody that sees and sows and shares with this ministry. Your gifts help us to do the things that we need to do, and we thank God for them, and we thank God for you. This is Sacrifice Monday. I'll ask everybody that can to make a gift, a sacrifice, no gift too large, no gift too small, just something that says, Lord, I trust you and I believe you right now. And I know God is going to bless the gifts that you share in the name of Jesus Christ. You can mail a gift to Refuge Simple Church, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215, P.O. Box 3552, Burlington, North Carolina, 27215. You can give online. Our website is www.refuge temple n is in north c is in carolina.com refuge temple nc.com and you can give on the donate page you can also share with the givelify app just type in refuge temple burlington you'll see a picture of the church and you'll know you're in the right place and make your gift there or if you have cash app our cash app is dollar sign capital O-N-E, capital R-E-F-U-G-E, one refuge, one refuge, and you can make your gift there, and the Lord will surely bless you, hallelujah, for your liberality in the name of Jesus Christ. Saints, I love this morning prayer family. I want to invite you to come and go with us to the Caribbean, all right? You're still time to sign up. June and July, we're going to St. Kitts, St. Lucia, and Jamaica, and you can be with us. So go on my Facebook page, click the link, sign up. They'll get right back to you and tell you how you can make your reservations and be a part of this great trip. We love the morning prayer family. Thank God for each of you. Please keep coming. Please keep sharing and please keep praying. And as you pray, pray for me, pray for Lady Davis, pray for our children, pray for my father. Pray for my sisters, pray for my in-laws, our nieces, our nephews, our entire family. Pray for Refuge Temple that God would continue to bless us. And let's pray one for another that the grace of God might cover us and keep us. Praise the name of God for his name alone is excellent. Until next time, this is Pastor Davis. God bless each of you. Shalom, shalom.